Christine Blasey Ford's testimony in the Kavanaugh hearings put the subject of lie detector tests front and center and made us ask how often they're used in the lives of ordinary Nashville families. Private investigator Renee Brewer says companies, spouses, even parents call her every week about where to take a lie detector test. The $500 test must be set up seven days in advance. Brewer says nine times out of 10, the person comes clean minutes before that testing deadline. Guilty party is probably not going to sit down and take that test. Innocent people take the test and they usually pass the test. Brewer says if you're a master manipulator or you're coached, you can trick a lie detector test. How to practice the question that's going to be asked until you're completely calm. Every time I hear the code word or the word in my head that is the problem, I'm going to go to a peaceful, calm place and I'm going to control my breathing. You know, the crime is just a soft, fuzzy flower. It's just a cloud. And then your body will settle down. Brewer says most spouses or parents of kids who fear someone's lying don't need a lie detector test. They need counseling.